Wes, one of the questions we've been getting about the Veritas file system is, has been, what are extents? It, is that something that you can explain to us? Sure. Okay, absolutely. great. Go ahead. All right. So simple terms, an extent is contiguous disk blocks that contain the data for a file. So whenever a file is created, there's a lot of system overhead. It's all metadata changes. So um, free disk blocks need to be allocated to the file. There has to be an inode assigned to the file. There's got to be an update to the directory tables. Lots of stuff that happens. Well, one of the things that happens when we're laying data out on disk in this extent format is that we have a starting block address for, for where the data is going to reside. So I'm just going to give this a simple starting block zero. It's laid out on disk. So as the data is laid down, at the point where it stops, we're going to collect the information on the number of disk blocks that go to this particular file. And if we are able to lay the entire file in a single set of contiguous disk blocks, that is what is known as an extent. And we keep track of this in the inode table with a series of pointers. So the optimum use of an extent-based file system is to have one extent per file. Nice sequential writes, nice sequential reads. Very, very good performance. So to find this in the inode, we're going to use a direct pointer. Now there's a series of direct pointers and there's also indirect pointers. The fewer pointers that we use, the better the file system and the better the uh, accessing and retrieving information or writing data to the file. So each file has an inode, is that what Correct. you're saying? Each okay. file has an inode. And in each inode, there's going to be a series of pointers. So the starting address of where the file is laid out, starting address will be part of this pointer. So the pointer points to something we call an address length pair. So it's going to point to a block that's going to have the starting address in here plus the length in block. So let's say this is a thousand blocks long. So we're going to have a thousand blocks listed in here. So when we need to go out there and retrieve information from this file, we go to the inode for that file, read the direct pointer to it, find the starting block address, seek to that starting address, and then read the next X number of blocks listed here into memory. And we get the file. Now, as a file system grows, more files go into the file system, files incrementally grow over time, files are deleted, there's fewer and fewer amount of contiguous disk blocks that are available. So we have additional pointers that can point to additional extents for the same file. So if we can't have one file that can be laid out in contiguous blocks, then you get, may get multiple extents for the same file. So data would reside in one extent, data will reside also in another extent. And we'll get another address length pair pointing to that one. So whatever the block address, starting address here is, and whatever the length is, we'll say it's 1,000 as well, we'll have another extent to manage this. So when we go out to look for this file, we're going to go to this block, starting address, run 1,000 blocks into memory. And then we can seek to this address and run the rest of it into memory. We get the whole file loaded. Now, another part of extents is understanding block size. Block size is an important piece of this puzzle. Block size defines the minimum size an extent can be. So the block size is established when the file system is created. Now, the default values are if your file system is less than one terabyte, the default block size will be 1K. If the file system is greater than one terabyte, it'll be 8K. So you got to keep track of this because extent size can no, not be any smaller than the default block size. So if you have a greater than a, uh, one terabyte file system, 8K block size, and you're writing 2K files to it, well, you're going to run out of disk space before you run out of disk space, if you understand what I mean. Okay, Very important piece of the puzzle right there. And that's basically it. That's what an extent is. Well, that's a very good point when you're, when you're starting to think about the block sizes. You really have to be careful about what are the size of the files that are going in there. Absolutely. This is a great explanation of it. I really appreciate you taking the time My to pleasure. explaining to us how Veritas file system extents work.